very brave. Hello guys, Apaka Bar, I'm Jazik, I'm a singer and a vocal coach based in Warsaw, Poland. Today I will be reacting to Daniel Huer singing Sumpa. Thank you so much for all of your support and your comments. You guys kept sending me messages. Daniel sang Aina Abdul's song, you have to check it out. And since I've already reacted to his duet with Aina Abdul singing Flashlight, I thought this could be a really good song to react to and I really wanted to react to him by himself as well. I really hope YouTube will not delete it. Happy 2021 to those who didn't see any of my videos this year. Three, two, one, go. Vibrato. The lowest note so far was C sharp 3, which is pretty low for someone who can sing so high because we all know that Daniel has incredible high notes going for him. His hit D5 in the in a duet with Aina Abdul. So for him to be able to hit C sharp 3, I think he can go lower, but it makes his full voice range over two octaves. That's a lot. That's G sharp 2. That's really low, so it makes his vocal range full voice over two octaves, if not two and a half. So again, I love the bravery. G sharp 2 is really low, even for me. I can hit it in a similar way to Daniel with a lot of air, with a lot of... <sighs> so if you want to start on the note and jump to another, it's good to use that breathiness. It's not good to always sing low notes with a breathy tone, but we all know that he can sing uh, low notes with zipped up vocal cords and obviously if he wants to sing that low, he can do <sighs> and I'm glad that he didn't lose his pitch. Yeah, he really gets what he's singing about. He's shaking and it's not the nerves. It's probably those lyrics. And uh, I'm not sure if I reacted to Sumpa by Aina Abdul. I think I did. Let me check. I did react to it. Mm. Beautiful arrangement. Okay, it's really weird watching myself react, so <laughs> let's just skip to the to the real reaction that I want to do for you now. Okay, Daniel, go on. And he helps himself lowering his larynx as well. So uh, it's more operatic sound, but obviously he's not singing an operatic song. So he's kind of mixing the two worlds and it creates more space and your sound is going to get darker, deeper, to some more meaningful. And if you're placing your sound up here, I mean on your mask up front, 
you can add a little bit of the crying sound, which makes you sound even more emotional. And that's what I'm getting from here. Beautiful. That's B4. So he's already covered like over two octaves and it wasn't his head voice, it was his mix. I've never heard him singing in his head voice this low as B4. He usually goes for falsetto, which is fine, but he controls his bridging area very well. And this is something that make me question my abilities, cause obviously I can go over my bridge with no breaks, but can I keep the same tone to my voice? Can I? be really consistent in that. Do I use it very often? Often? Pray for my English again. Sometimes, yeah, I go for more powerful sound when it comes to higher notes, but Daniel is really gentle with it and his sound is very balanced, which is really good. <laughs> Beautiful, and the yodel at the end. What was the note? That's high. Yeah, he ended at the yodel. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. It's, it's his style. That's what he sounds like in most of his covers that I'm hearing from him. And you know what else? I see this young gentleman, and you guys tell me that he's a vocal coach as well, and yeah, I can tell. <laughs> He's got his technique going on very well for him. But I can see that hunger. I can see that hunger on stage. I want to be here. I want to show that I can do this. I have a lot of emotions inside of me and I want to share them. And it's not just me being on stage and, sh and showing off with vocals. I feel what I'm talking about. And that's what I'm getting from him. And I'm really, really, really interested. And I cannot wait to see what's coming for him. I hope this show will give him even bigger platform to perform for even more people. And I just wish him all the best. I remember when I reacted to him for the first time, I was like, <gasps> he sang Kubersuara by Ernie Zakri and I was blown away. And since that time I wanted to cover that song, but the life crushed me and I couldn't, you know, arrange enough time for me to learn it, but I will do it. I will do it at some point, definitely. I don't want to make any promises that it's going to be soon, but I will do it. I love that song. Okay, let's carry on. <laughs> C sharp 5 so to think that he's got his G sharp 2 and then going for C sharp 5 it's just a lot of range a lot of range very brave beautiful oh, and those breaths those emotional breaths you cannot just make them happen. You have to feel something, right? So I just wanted to point out that he's just hit G sharp five, which means that he's covered three octaves so far. And three octaves is a lot of range again, and he can go higher than this. So, wow. I love how he challenges, challenges himself and his bravery and everything. Let's rewind a little bit because I didn't want to miss those emotional breaks and not breaks those those breaths
that was really good. <laughs> Again, like he's got this range, he's got his voice really working properly, he's young, he's brave. Oh, I'm really interested in his fans. I mean, I want to know if older generation listens to him or younger generation. To me, he does sound as if he wanted to reach out to my generation and older. I don't know what kind of music Malaysian people listen to, I mean the younger generation, but please educate me about this because if he went to Poland and he got popular, the way he sings would draw a lot of attention of older generation. I just want to know if young generation appreciates him as well. In your country, I really don't know what else I can say. I've said a lot during this reaction and you guys keep complaining from time to time that I do over talking. <laughs> But for those who know my content, you know that I, you know, I love talking about vocals and pointing out things that some people might not catch. Congratulations, Danielle. I do love your voice and I do love your singing potential and everything that you do with your voice. Super brave, super talented. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more. And if you've ever wanted to work with me, you can just go to my website, www.yaziksinger.com and you can book a session there with me and I'll see you in front of my computer or you'll see me doing another reaction. Thank you so much once again. Till the next time. Bye bye. How can we fix things when falling apart? Either you are, I have to check.